It's Thursday, November 3rd, and I'm going to do a series of oxalic acid treatments on the hives to clean up any varroa mites that might be lingering on the bees. I'm pulling the mouse guards off and I'm going to block the entrances so I only have to deal with one hive at a time. The plan is to do the treatment in the early part of the morning and that way the foragers will still be inside the hive. The legal dosage is one gram per brew chamber. My hives have one deep and two medium brew chambers. So I'll be using two grams per hive. Wear protective gear. I'm using a 3M vapor mask with an acid and particle filter cartridge. Oxalic acid can be used above 37 degrees and there's no upper limit. Before using a wand for the first time, do a test run. Put the dosage in the basket, put power to the wand, and then start timing it. And when the smoke stops, you, you'll know approximately how long it takes to apply one dosage to your hive. A recent change in USDA regulations allows for oxalic acid to be used with honey supers on the hive. As long as you use a product with an EPA approved label. Man Lake Bee Supply carries a product called Happy Bioxol. I'll put a link for it in the description below. And we'll give it two minutes to heat up and vaporize. Okay, that's that's two minutes. At th at three minutes, I'll shut down power, and then I'll let the wand stay in there for ten minutes. And that's three minutes. Power down. Okay, my, my only observation so far has been that when I pull the wand, it, it, um, it's a pretty tight fit in that little 3 8 inch opening. And so, maybe in the future, I may use the full 3 quarter inch opening so it's easier for me to pull that wand out. Okay, now we can unplug that other hive and open up the vent and the bees will be back to doing the bee business that they have to attend to. Thanks for coming along with me this morning. If you found the video interesting or informative, consider subscribing. It really helps my channel. Appreciate it. And thanks for watching the video.